in a jail tonight for posing as a law officer. Police have charged him with impersonating a U.S. Marshal while duping two men out of $9,000. Ned Cross is live on Fayette Street, where the crime happened, Ed. Well, Larry, folks familiar with downtown Raleigh know that building right over there is the Century Post, Post Office. Now, until 1970, that was the federal courthouse. But apparently, two men unfamiliar with downtown Raleigh thought it was the current federal courthouse, and that's how this con story began. It does say federal building on the Century Postal Station, and when you walk in the side door, it might appear to be the federal courthouse. There's even a security checkpoint for any visitors at the federal offices upstairs. But otherwise, the post office lobby is open to the public. Unless you have a news camera, but we'll get back to that in a minute. According to arrest warrants, 30-year-old Emmanuel Williams met two men here in February. Investigators say he had a fake police ID, was wearing a turtleneck with the word police on the collar, and a police vest. He told the men he was a U.S. Marshal and could sell them cars that had been seized from criminals, a BMW 5 Series and a Honda Accord. He apparently collected $3,000 in cash from one of the men and more than $6,000 from the other. Despite what the building's security officer claims, Raleigh police say the crime did happen here. And while a news camera got the attention of security, apparently a 6'2", 260-pound man in police clothing taking $9,000 in cash from two men didn't stir suspicions until today. You know that thing my car me and a few months after the meeting here, the victims say the man they knew as Manny still didn't have the cars and refused to return their money. So they went to police. After a four-month investigation, they arrested Emmanuel Williams, whose court records include a lengthy rap sheet with past arrests for everything from assaults to firearms violations to theft by deception. Now, as they often do in cases like this, Raleigh police are trying to figure out if Emmanuel Williams may have allegedly committed any other crimes Larry, they ask if anybody recognizes him and feels that he has committed a crime against them as they contact Raleigh Police. Ted, thank you for